Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial of SOLIDWORKS. In this exercise, we will draw another simple shapes. Uh, let's have a look to our shape first. So this is the shapes that I will sketch in this video tutorial. And compared to the previous example, I could say this is a bit complicated, but it is still considered quite easy. So let's get started click new part and ok so click sketch and choose the front plane the line and create our first line and doesn't matter the exact dimension for now and then create another line vertical lines let's escape Draw a circle. So change the radius to 30. And as you can see from here, the relationship between this circle and the horizontal line is given here. This is tangent. At the same time, we also want this circle and this vertical line to be tangent. So by holding control key at your keyboard, click these two lines after you click these two lines it will become light blue and at this property step click tangent so you realize when you click this tangent task this circle will snap to the left so the next thing we should do is to remove unwanted lines so there you have it Now let's keep drawing our sketches. This one should be 40. Okay, insert another line. This one should be 20. And then this angle line, which is 45 degree angle. So check it. The angle become 45 and the length is 190.92. Press enter. Okay, as I mentioned in my previous video, you can use this button to make sure that all of your sketches are inside your screen. Right? For example, if your sketches is like this, it's difficult to see the top part of your sketches. So click this fit preview over here and the software will automatically zoom out and display 100% of your sketches onto your screen. So now we have done the left hand side of the sketches. Uh, draw a center line starting from the top to the bottom. Make sure this line is vertical. Okay. And then we want to put dimension to all the, the presence component so that the this still will not change after this. Okay. Once we are satisfied, we are going to use this mirror entities function. So click over here and select what are the entities that want that we want to be projected to the other side. After you click all the lines that you want, click this mirror about function and then click on the center line. As you can see, uh, the yellow lines generated over here is the preview of what the mirror entities will result with. So click OK. So basically, you have draw the general shape of your house. The next step is to add this hexagonal shape from at the right and at the left side of these sketches. Click this hexagonal, oh sorry, click this polygon button make sure it is 6 and just put it over here so the first thing we want to do is to make sure that this line is 0 degrees so you can see that over here the value is not 0 but 0 0.33 highlight it and change it to 0 we just want to make sure the bottom part of this hexagon are flat 
So now we have draw the hexagonal. We need to change the dimension of the size according to the dimension given. So by using this smart dimension tools, click on the top part of your hexagonal and change it to 17.32. Press enter. Just to double check, the distance from top to bottom should be 30. Okay, which is correct. Okay. Now we have created the correct dimension of the hexagonal. What we need to do now is to place it at the correct position. So also by using the smart dimensional tools, click this point on the right side and then click this point over here. So this length should be 38.96. Press enter. You can see uh, the shape move a bit. And I could say that the distance from here to here also has changed. According to the example, the length from this line to this line should be 230. So just change it over there and it will restore to its original position. So we have done with this x axis. Let's go for the y axis. The distance from the bottom hexagonal to the bottom part of the house should be 60. Five actually. Click OK. So now the hexagonal has been placed at the correct position. We need to create another hexagonal at the left hand side. So what we need to do is to use the mirror entity and to project this hexagonal to the left hand side. Click this function mirror entity and using your mouse, highlight all the entity that you want to be mirrored. And then click this mirror about spaces and click on the center line. Click OK. You can see the preview here of the hexagonal is going to be projected. So now you have draw the second hexagonal. Time for us to proceed with the slot opening at the bottom center of your sketch. So click this straight slot and choose this center point straight slot and make sure you use this center to center option. So click at the center line to create the opening and then like that. The height of this slot is 20 and the distance is 85. Let's put some dimension. Here, center point to center point is 85. Draw the correct slot with the correct dimension, but now it's time to place this dimension at the correct position. So the distance from the bottom part of the slot to the bottom part of the house should be 18.02 okay so the one that we yet to draw is a rectangular on the left side over here so click a line draw a rectangle press escape choose the trim entity function to remove the unwanted part over here but again although the shape is similar to what we want but the dimension may not so by using this smart dimensional tools click on this line and then this point do not click on this line but you need to click this to the point here This one should be 
and the same you need to click at this vertical line to this point do not click on this line it's a different measurement actually distance is 95.46 okay so basically we have done uh, almost all the sketches that we need to, to do so we just need to add some angle in terms of the dimension so when you add uh, this angle certain part of this line become yellow um, meaning to say that the software detects some conflict in your sketches so just remove this this line Uh, the angle is not exact 45 but i think in this case it is still 45 except that the decimal are too too little to be concerned with so just leave it as it is so since we have catches the drawing it's time to extrude this drawing to a 3d body but before that i think we forgot uh, one thing the height of this one should be 42.35 okay completed our sketch time for us to convert these sketches into a 3d body so by using this feature step click this extruded boss space function and when you click you need to identify which plane or which surfaces that you want to extrude in this case click this surface uh, some example when you click this extrude boss or base it will automatically select the surface that you want to extrude but in this case since there have been some overlapping line at the bottom over here that's why the software asks you to select the surface so click ok I think that's it the last step is to change the color I think yellow should be ok so choose isometric so I think that's it for our tutorial today I really hope that you learned something from my video should you have any suggestion or question please leave it in the comment section uh, thank you for watching